Sometimes, the machines meant to help farmers ended up causing chaos instead. Over the years, engineers have built machines and systems that were supposed to make life easier, but turned out to be dangerous lessons in what not to do. From a tractor that flipped with the slightest slope to steam tractors that exploded like bombs, here are 15 deadly engineering mistakes that changed farming forever. 1. Exposed spinning PTO shafts If you've ever stood near a running tractor and seen that metal shaft spinning between the tractor and an attachment, you know it moves faster than your eyes can follow. Back then, those PTO shafts didn't have any guards. Farmers got used to stepping over them without thinking. A coattail, a pant leg, even a shoelace could catch, and in a split second, the shaft would wrap it tight. There was no stopping it once it started. The force was too strong, and many lost limbs or their lives just doing everyday work. It wasn't carelessness. It was routine. Everyone knew the danger, but no one expected to be the next one pulled in. Some tried homemade covers, but most left them open for easy access. That convenience came at a terrible cost. It took years before manufacturers finally made proper protective guards a standard part of every tractor. The fix was simple, a solid plastic or metal sleeve that spins loosely around the shaft, keeping clothing from catching. Today, newer tractors even stop the PTO automatically when detached or overloaded. The difference between a fatal mistake and a safe day now comes down to design, not luck. But the next flaw didn't need a spinning shaft to take a life. It was built right into the engine itself. 2. Open flywheels on old engines Before tractors had sleek covers, early stationary engines used massive flywheels to keep their power steady. They spun heavy and slow, but with enough force to crush anything that got too close. Back then, nobody thought twice about working near one. Belts were adjusted by hand, people wiped oil from moving parts, and clothes flapped dangerously close to those turning edges. One bad step or loose sleeve, and the wheel would grab it instantly, dragging the person into the machine before anyone could react. These engines powered sawmills, pumps, and threshers, the heart of the farm, but they claimed just as many lives as they helped feed. Children were told never to go near them, and farmers built makeshift fences just to stay safe. It wasn't until factories began enforcing safety standards that things changed. Engineers started enclosing the flywheels in steel housings, and belts got quick-release tensioners so they could be stopped safely. The modern engine hides its danger behind guards, panels, and emergency shutoffs. This is protection old farmers could have only dreamt of. Still, the next design flaw made the danger even worse, because this time, it came from fire itself. 3. Tractors that ran on gasoline In the early days, most tractors ran on plain gasoline. It was cheap, easy to find, and made engines roar to life, but it also turned farms into ticking fire traps. Gas fumes hung in the air every time a farmer filled the tank. All it took was a dropped match, a backfire, or even a hot manifold, and the whole machine could go up in flames. Some tractors had the fuel caps right next to the exhaust pipe, so the heat alone could ignite the vapors. Farmers carried jugs of gas in their trucks, poured it by hand, and often filled tanks while the engine still idled. Many barns burned to the ground that way. People started to realize that gasoline and tractors didn't mix well. The fix came when diesel engines became more reliable. Diesel fuel burns slower, doesn't vaporize as easily, and is far less likely to explode. Manufacturers redesigned the tanks, added flame arresters, and moved filler necks away from hot parts. By the 1950s, diesel became the safer choice, and gas-powered tractors began disappearing from the fields. And while fuel fires could be terrifying, the next mistake was even crueler. 4. Tractors with no roll bars for decades, tractors were built tall and narrow, great for turning between rows, but terrible for balance. One deep rut or sloped hillside, and the whole machine could tip in seconds. The driver didn't stand a chance. The tractor would roll and crush anyone underneath. It was one of the deadliest mistakes in early engineering. Powerful machines with no rollover protection. Back then, people called it bad luck instead of bad design. Some tried to jump clear when a tractor began tipping, but that rarely worked. In hilly regions, families lost generation after generation the same way, pinned beneath their own equipment. It wasn't until the late 1960s that engineers introduced ROPs, or Rollover Protective Structures, heavy steel bars strong enough to hold the tractor's weight if it flipped. Paired with a seatbelt, it finally gave farmers a fighting chance. Many resisted at first, thinking roll bars made the machines look awkward or blocked visibility, but the numbers didn't lie. Deaths from rollovers dropped dramatically wherever ROPs became standard. Today, it's hard to buy a new tractor without one, but the next hazard came swinging from the back, a spinning blade that turned pastures into war zones. 5. Dangerous Rear Rotary Mowers 
When rotary mowers first hit the market, they were a dream for clearing pastures and brush. Just hitch one to the back of your tractor, fire up the PTO, and those blades would slice through anything – grass, saplings, even rocks. But there was one huge problem. There were no proper guards or deflectors. When those heavy steel blades hit something solid, they launched it like a bullet. Rocks, bits of metal, and chunks of wood would shoot out in every direction at terrifying speed. Farmers lost eyes, broke bones, and shattered windshields before realizing what those mowers were capable of. Some even used them around homes and barns, unaware how far the debris could fly. It took years of accidents before manufacturers added chain curtains and protective skirts around the decks to stop debris from flying. Some added heavier blade carriers and balanced systems to reduce vibration and improve control. Today's rotary cutters have reinforced covers, shielded PTO shafts, and safety zones printed right on the warning labels. You still have to respect the power they hold, but at least now the danger is contained. And speaking of spinning metal, the next design flaw made even feeding grain a deadly gamble. 6. Uncovered Grain – Augers Grain augers were another brilliant idea that came with a dark side. A long metal screw running inside a tube could move tons of wheat or corn in minutes, but early models left that screw completely exposed at the intake. Farmers and farmhands would lean in to clear clogs or scoop kernels, not realizing how fast that spiral moved. One slip and a hand or sleeve was gone in an instant. There were even cases where people were pulled inside up to their shoulders before anyone could shut the machine off. Those spinning blades didn't stop for anything. As tragic stories spread, safety engineers started adding guards and mesh screens over the intake, along with emergency shutoff switches near every operator point. Some models now have automatic stop sensors that detect jams or pressure changes. What was once an open invitation to disaster is now one of the safer pieces of equipment on the farm, but only if used correctly. And while these machines tore through grain and clothing, the next mistake literally blew entire barns apart. 7. Exploding Steam Tractor Boilers Long before diesel or gasoline engines, farms relied on steam power. Those early tractors ran on massive boilers that heated water until it turned to steam, driving pistons and gears. They were powerful, loud, and impressive to watch until they exploded. All it took was a weak weld, low water level, or distracted operator, and the boiler could burst like a bomb. The blast didn't just wreck the tractor, it leveled barns, barnge heads, and sometimes entire threshing crews. Shards of iron would fly hundreds of feet. In the 1910s and 1920s, these explosions were so common that newspapers had regular columns reporting them. Many farmers never fully understood the pressure those tanks held or how fast it built up under strain. The fix came from tragedy. Engineers began building safety valves, pressure gauges, and stronger riveted steel designs that could vent excess steam instead of rupturing. Eventually, the switch to internal combustion engines made steam tractors obsolete, taking those deadly boilers with them. Today, surviving steam engines at fairs and shows are inspected more carefully than most airplanes. And after the age of steam ended, another danger rolled right back in. 8. Clutch and Brake Pedals – Too Close On many older tractors, the clutch and brake pedals sat almost side by side sometimes barely an inch apart. When boots were muddy or worn, it was easy to hit both at once. Some farmers thought they were braking when they were actually letting the clutch slip, and the tractor would lurch forward without warning. That tiny bit of poor design caused countless accidents, smashed fences, crushed gates, and even fatalities when tractors jumped ahead while hitching implements. It was especially dangerous for anyone working behind the machine, trusting the driver to stay still. Engineers eventually caught on that human error wasn't always the human's fault. Sometimes, the layout just set them up to fail. The fix was simple but life-saving, separating the pedals, giving each its own space and feel. Modern tractors even color code or shape them differently so they can't be confused in low light. A few models include automatic brakes that engage when the clutch is pressed, eliminating that deadly overlap altogether. It was a small change, but it saved lives and equipment across generations. But while better pedals helped control the tractor, the next flaw turned safety gear into its own deadly trap. 9. Roll Bars Without Seat Belts When roll bars, or ROPs, first appeared, it felt like farming had finally entered the safety age. But the first wave of installations came with one big oversight – no seat belts. The bars did their job, but the people beneath them didn't always stay there. During a rollover, drivers were often thrown out of the seat entirely, landing right where the tractor was falling. The heavy frame that was meant to save them ended up crushing them instead. It took years before farmers realized the roll bar was only half of the solution. Some thought seatbelts were unnecessary or too restrictive for fieldwork. Others simply didn't like the look, but testing proved the truth. 
a roll bar without a seatbelt was as dangerous as having no protection at all. Eventually, manufacturers began pairing the two as a package, and safety campaigns drove the message home – stay strapped in, stay alive. New tractors now have seat sensors that disable the PTO or transmission if the belt isn't buckled. Still, the next mistake didn't come from rolling steel, it came from leaking oil and sudden fire. 10. Leaking Hydraulic Hoses – Near Hot Parts Hydraulics changed farming forever, giving tractors the muscle to lift and control heavy implements with ease. But those early systems came with hidden dangers – high-pressure oil and intense heat. If a hose cracked or loosened near the engine, that hot hydraulic fluid could spray straight onto the manifold. One spark later, the tractor would burst into flames. Many fires started this way, a small leak ignored until it became an inferno. The danger didn't stop there. The oil jets themselves could inject under the skin, causing deep tissue burns or blood poisoning. Farmers often learned that lesson the hard way. Over time, engineers began using heat-resistant hoses, protective sleeves, and better routing that kept lines away from hot zones. Hydraulic systems got pressure relief valves, and modern tractors come with fire-resistant materials under the hood. Many even alert the operator to sudden drops in pressure before a leak gets serious. And while leaking hoses started fires, the next mistake put deadly electricity right into the fence line. 11. Faulty Electric Fence Setups When electric fencing first became popular, it was hailed as a miracle. No more chasing cows through fields or mending endless barbed wire, just a small pulse of current to teach animals their boundaries. But the early homemade systems were far from safe. Farmers cobbled them together with car batteries, radio parts, or scrap wire, with no grounding or insulation. Some fences carried way more voltage than intended, strong enough to knock a person unconscious. Others leaked current into wet soil, shocking anyone who walked by barefoot or touched a nearby gate. Lightning strikes could travel straight down the fence and set barns ablaze. As tragic accidents piled up, engineers and regulators finally stepped in. Modern electric fencers now use solid-state pulse systems that deliver a quick, safe jolt instead of a constant current. They're properly grounded, weather-sealed, and equipped with surge protection to handle lightning safely. Most come with warning signs by law, and some can even be monitored from a phone app. And while a bad fence could shock you, the next mistake could topple an entire machine on a hillside. 12. Unbalanced Combine Headers When combines grew larger, so did their headers, those wide, heavy attachments that cut and feed crops into the machine. Early models didn't account for balance properly, especially when farmers swapped out smaller headers for wider ones. The weight on one side could tilt the entire combine just enough to make it unstable. On flat ground, it was manageable, but on a hillside, it was deadly. More than a few operators found themselves rolling down slopes with tons of grain and machinery crashing around them. Even slight misalignment could strain the frame and damage bearings, making the machine unpredictable at high speeds. Engineers eventually fixed it with self-leveling systems, counterweights, and automatic tilt sensors that keep modern combines balanced no matter the terrain. Hydraulic balancing became a standard feature, allowing drivers to adjust on the go. But while machines got steadier, another danger hung thick in the air. 13. Sprayers without enclosed cabs when chemical sprayers first became common, most tractors were wide open. No doors, no windows, no filters. Farmers drove through fields while clouds of pesticides and herbicides blew straight back into their faces. At the time, few realized what that meant for their lungs, skin, and long-term health. The mist stuck to their clothes, soaked into their skin, and lingered in the air long after the job was done. Many came home dizzy or coughing, thinking it was just part of the workday. But the damage built up over time. Stories spread about strange rashes, headaches, and breathing issues, and eventually doctors started connecting the dots. The fix came slowly, first with simple windshields, then fully sealed cabs fitted with HEPA filters and ventilation systems that kept air pressure higher inside than out. Modern sprayers now let operators breathe clean, filtered air while still watching their work through clear glass. Some even have sensors that detect chemical leaks or filter clogs, and as chemicals made the air unsafe, the next design flaw made the roads just as deadly. 14. Trailers with no brakes For decades, tractor trailers and wagons were little more than rolling steel boxes on wheels. No brakes, no safety chains, nothing but trust. On flat land, they worked fine, but on hills, they became a nightmare. The weight of several tons of grain or hay could push the tractor faster than it could stop, sending both downhill in a deadly race. Farmers tried to control it with lower gears or by riding the brakes, but that only led to overheating and failure. It wasn't rare for entire rigs to jackknife or tip, destroying everything in their path. 
The fix came with mechanical and hydraulic braking systems that connected directly to the tractor's controls. When the driver braked, the trailer braked too, sharing the load instead of fighting against it. Safety chains and proper hitch locks became standard, keeping trailers from breaking loose entirely. Modern wagons now include automatic braking or air systems, giving farmers confidence on steep terrain. And while trailers could crush from behind, the next mistake dropped the danger straight from above. 15. Lift arms that could suddenly drop One of the most overlooked dangers on old tractors was the hydraulic lift system. Those sturdy-looking arms that held plows, buckets, or mowers could raise thousands of pounds, but early models had no safety locks or pressure fail-safes. If a hose burst or a valve failed, the pressure vanished in an instant, and the arms came crashing down. Many farmers worked underneath raised implements to grease fittings or replace blades, trusting that the hydraulics would hold. One small leak or a bump of the lever, and tons of steel would drop without warning. It was a quiet kind of danger. No sound, no warning, just a sudden snap and silence. Too many families found out the hard way how unforgiving those systems could be. The fix came with safety pins, mechanical locks, and check valves that hold the arms in place even if the pressure fails. Some tractors now have built-in supports that swing automatically into position whenever the implement is raised. Modern hydraulics also use stronger seals and better routing to prevent leaks. Which of these farming mistakes do you think was the most dangerous of all? Let me know in the comments below. If you learned something new today, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.